Previously, I described how to design a message with intelligent transitions. But what about making changes to these messages at the last minute? That's not a problem for Lyric Pro. Consider this scenario. A request has been made to add a live bug to an existing reporter's super. Let's recall the lower third super we previously made. In the default tab, I'm going to add a bar, then add a 2D text box, and type live into that box. Now I'll move them into place into the upper left hand corner. Let's also group the bar and text together and create its own timeline. Right click on the timeline, select add transition, and type in the word live. Because we chose selected, that group automatically was added to the live timeline. Using the XYZ properties, move the live group off the screen to the left at time zero and reset the X position to the one second point. All right, that part's done. However, I also want to make sure that this is simple and quick to get to air from an operator's perspective. To do that, I'll add a hotkey to the transition. Navigate to the transition properties and under the transition hotkey assignments, click the configuration button. This menu is used to assign a hotkey or GPI to trigger the event. Let's assign the F6 key as the trigger. If the live was left the way it was, it would automatically appear on the output when the message is executed to air. That might not necessarily be wrong, but we might not necessarily be right either, depending on the circumstances. Because we want control of when to add the live, it must be off the screen when the message is executed. That's an easy thing to do. We need to either add the live group to the effect in and move it off the screen, or just move it off the screen in the default timeline tab as well. Here is what the message looks like when animating to air. And then when I press the F6 button, the live appears. There is another way to execute the live automatically. We already have the live animation created in its own timeline, right? Well, it can also be triggered during the effect in by adding an activation event. To set this up, click on the effect in timeline and then navigate to the event properties. You may remember that previously I showed you how to activate a transition in a different message using the activation external event. Well here, we're going to use the activation event to trigger a transition in the same message. In this case, we want the live transition to be activated by the effect in transition. Now when we execute this message to air, it automatically triggers the live animation at the same time. By simply changing the activation keyframe to a later point in the timeline, we can delay when the live animation gets triggered. The creation of complex looking messages is easy with Lyric Pro. Adding to or modifying custom designed messages with built-in transitions is easy and quick. The most flexible broadcast graphics solution available is Lyric Pro.